future Ruby class, how are you? My name is Miss Brisley and I'm going to be your teacher at Ruby class next year. Now today we were supposed to have a lovely story together on the field but it won't stop raining and now the floor is too wet to sit on. So instead we're going to listen to our story at home. So first of all you're going to need to make sure that you're nice and comfy and second of all you're going to need to go and grab a teddy bear. So you might need to pause the video and go and grab one now. Now I have two teddy bears with me. I couldn't decide which one to pick and I want to show you them. So my first teddy bear, this is Jeannie Bear. And I got Jeannie Bear when I went somewhere called London. You might have been to London before. And I went to a show called Aladdin. You might know that, you might know that, you might have seen the film of Aladdin or read the story. And in the story, there is a genie and he wears these really cool clothes. And that's why I got this teddy bear because I thought he looked really cool in his genie costume. This is genie bear. And the second teddy that I've got is Larry the Llama. And he is really cool and he's very special to me because I made him. So I like to do something called crocheting, which is like knitting. And I knitted him and he's very special to me because he was the first toy that I made and I sewed all of his legs on the wrong way. So now his legs all go in different directions. But I thought that he was really cute. So I've got Larry the Nama with me and I've got my genie bear with me ready for the story. Okay, I'm just going to pop them on this chair so they can listen. I hope you've got yours. And the story that we're going to read today, future Ruby class, is The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fischer. And he made this beautiful story. You've probably heard of this story before. If you haven't, then you're in for a little bit of a treat. But I love this story so much because it teaches us um, why sharing is so important. So, how are you nice and comfy? Have you got your teddy bear with you? If you have, then we'll get started. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of red and blue and green and purple with silver sparkling scales among them. If I just move my book like this, you can see all the scales, the silver ones sparkling. The other fish were amazed by his beauty. They called him the rainbow fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just swim past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. Do you think the rainbow fish will give one of his sparkly scales away? Hmm, I wonder if you would give one of your sparkly scales away. Let's find out. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. No! Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. I think I would be upset too if somebody said that to me. I don't think that was very nice. He was so upset that he told all of his friends what had happened. And from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Oh dear. So because the rainbow fish has said something unkind, nobody wants to speak to him. What good were dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. Dear, that really is sad, isn't it? That he has nobody to play with now. 
I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep, dark cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't really see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give one glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the ocean, but you will discover how to be happy. Oh, so the rainbow fish with his beautiful shiny scales, he had to give them away to other, other fish. Do you think he will do it? Let's find out. I, I can't, the rainbow fish started to say. But the octopus had already disappeared in a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales. Never. How could I ever live without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, don't be angry, but I just wanted to see if I could have one of your shiny scales. The rainbow fish thought very carefully. One very small shiny scale, he thought. Maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and he gave it to the little fish. Oh! <gasps> Thank you, thank you very much, the little fish bubbled playfully as he tucked his shiny scale in amongst his blue ones. A rather funny feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new shiny scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by all the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared the scales that he had left. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him was Filled with glittering shiny scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most prized possession he had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a slash, he swam off to join his friends. Shall we just have a closer look at this picture? If I just show you on the camera, you can see all the glittering shiny scales that he had shared with his friends. It wasn't easy for the rainbow fish to do that. He had to really think carefully about if giving away something that he loved was a good idea. But when he did, he got lots of new friends and became really happy. Now, the reason why I chose this story is because at the moment, Ruby class, who are at school at the minute, they are learning all about the ocean. And so we have looked at this story. And next year, we're going to be learning lots of different things. And we have lots of different stories and lots of topics. And I wonder if, when I see you in September, you can tell me something that you really enjoy so we can get some books ready. That would be really lovely. I'm really sorry I didn't get a chance to see you all today. I'm really sad. I wish I could have done that face to face. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this story and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye Ruby Clark.